Alright guys, slash you today. So this is gonna be somewhat of a quick video. It's the same day as uh as the uh, cold start video for the trimmer. Um because I also had gotten something else that I have been ordering, I've been waiting to uh, get from the from uh sort of how they're called. Uh eBay. So I've been waiting for them. I got four of those, but I only brought one because that's all I need right now. Uh, and I also, after I got the trimmer going, I decided I was going to maybe get the garden hose thing going. So we could have some water in the backyard. Well, that ended up being a fail. This is the, the reel and everything. Well, the hose that was on there originally, that you'd hook up to the faucet, this holes right here, it leaks. It's got a small leak in it, right? And it's just, you know, it, it dripped, but it was, it was a good drip. So I cut off this piece, which is right here, right here, and for some reason it would not slip over that little connection or that little, that little plastic piece. I didn't want to break the plastic thing off, so I decided, well, I got a slightly bigger hose, which is this, uh, lighter green one here okay well that fits on and here it is right here okay right here so it fits on mm. problem being i did not see this when i installed it somehow it managed to get a big freaking cut in it so right there you got a big old freaking splice in it somehow so I don't have any more uh, holes connectors like that to fit on there. I could put the old one back on, but it leaks. And this one just sprays like crazy. Um, and the hoses themselves that are on the reel, you know, when you butt them two t together, because there's about, I think, 100 feet, because there's two 54s hooked together, uh, those connection, the, the connector leaks too. I put in new. Um, rubber gaskets or whatever, you know, to stop it from leaking, it just never stopped it. It uh, helped a little bit, but it didn't stop it 100%. So, I'm just going to go ahead and scrap this whole entire fucking thing. I'm going to save the hoses for one more month, um, but I'm going to buy me a new reel. And the one I've seen on Northern Tools, on for, it's on sale right now, I think for about 70 bucks. Originally, it's like 100 Um, And it's got, it's a cheaper brand, but it's a lot heavier dutier than this. It's actually all steel or aluminum or whatever, but it's not this plastic shit. This came with the house. That reel. And it's broken. It doesn't look broken, but it's broken. So, and this is a pain in the ass to pull around. Because it's shorter, it's lower. It's meant for short people, it's not meant for tall people like me. So I have to bend over when I'm pulling it behind me, and that hurts my back. This one, the new one that I want to get, actually has a handle on it. You can push it or pull it. It's I think it's more, it's a higher up handle as well. So, and it's got four wheels instead of two. And they actually, I think they actually, um... I don't think they're flat free tires, but you do, I think you do have to put air in them. I, I don't know, but I got to look on the Northern Tool website again to make sure it's still on sale. But it, it, it is from a 2018 spring-summer catalog, so it should still be on sale, technically. So, but it is, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> I'm going to replace that, and then I'm probably going to replace the hoses. I might be able to get, you know, I mean, I could deal with the hoses. Problem being is that, you know, they leak, and then you're wasting money. So, sometimes I think my water bill is higher than it really is when I run that. Especially when I, when I uh, wash the machines, and then I water start watering my lawn, you know, when we get into, like, a drought situation. I will water my front yard at least, and it just it leaks, and I think that's what costs costs me more money. So, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all that. Fuck it. I'm not gonna play around with it. I played with that thing so many damn times last year. It's not worth it anymore. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to because hoses at the hardware. I mean, you can get them anywhere. Even the Dollar General sells them, but the ones at the Dollar General I think are cheaper and they're not gonna last as long as the good stuff at the hardware. So I'm gonna get the stuff at the hardware. A little more, more money, but yeah, it's well worth it. So, anyways, um, that's what's gonna go on there. But I went and got this new sign for my grandma. I'm just gonna go pick up more on payday. And I got this. These are the things that I bought. These are the T post brackets. I've seen a video on how these are supposed to go on, but I think they're supposed to go on if I figure it out. Something like that. Of course, the lights, freaking lights, are ruining it. So a little something like that, and apparently they are. You know, you can, you can, you can adjust them. Um, but I know it's definitely not going to work this way. Yeah, you know, it's designed only fit on one way. So that's basically how that works. Jesus. So I have to decide. That's basically how that's going to get mounted. But I don't know if I want to show the pretty side or not. I hope it's not pretty anymore since I ripped that freaking tape off. I usually paint these things. You know, these things, these boards. This is actually kind of a big board for the sign, but I'm not going to cut it because actually what I can do later on, I can, you know, I could easily, let's see here. I probably could easily add two of these if I wanted to, you know, one saying one thing and one thing saying a different thing. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to mount it this way. And I do have some screws here. I'm not even sure if these screws will fit. They might be too big. Oh no, they're about right. They're just so damn long. Yeah, they fit perfectly, but they're a bit too long. That's all I have to work with. If I have to, I can probably cut them too. Which is probably what I'll probably end up doing. Um, and I did not bring the drill. So this, will be, this could end up being slow going. Of course, we're crooked. Then I gotta make sure too I don't screw this into my uh, into my worktop, you know. Here comes my cat. So I think I'm probably just gonna only put four screws in here. You, you can put up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, but I think four will be enough. Because I'm not hanging like if you were to hang say maybe a flower pot on this thing somehow or a bird big bird nest or bird house I mean I suppose then you'd probably want to see now I'm already screwed into the to my damn worktop you probably would want to use all eight what are you doing cat I'm going to have to cut those screws, unfortunately, because I need to be able to put my sign there in the middle. Yeah, I should have brought my screw, my, uh, should have brought my D-Walt out. Oh well. Make sure it's nice and good. And then, basically what you do is you mount this to the T-post, and then you put, well, you put, you put your T-post in the ground first. And then you would be, uh, you'd be good. I'm just trying to make sure that this is level. It's the most level it'll probably ever get. Actually, I think this could come down just a bit. Come on. Okay, fine then. Let's be that way then. Ah, a little too much now. Son of a bitch. 
And you guys are going to say, oh, it's, you're picky. Well, I want it to look, you know, decent, you know. Fortunately, these pieces of wood are probably not going to last very long because I did not paint them. Yeah. Right, right, kitty? I didn't paint these. I know I painted the one on the gate, but see, at the time I had paint. This time I don't have paint, so... Um... <clears throat> whatever. If I get the year out of it, I'll be alright. I'll have to do, do a little better next year. And, uh... Oh, come on. Make sure I paint these things. But that'll be alright. I mean, I could go buy paint, but see, the thing is, I want to get these things mounted today. So... Kind of the reason why. I mean, if I had my ratchet type screwdriver, that'd be awesome. I didn't even, didn't even think to grab that poor thing either. A Dewalt would have made this so much faster, trust me, guys. I know that, but it's not here in the shop. I keep it in the house because I might need it in the house. Okay, and then see how uh, they stick out. So I'm gonna have to cut those. Uh, I can either use the angle grinder or I could use the uh, three inch cutting tool. Or these might work. <laughs> those could probably work too. I don't have to try that. It doesn't really matter if I fuck up the threads because I'm not using that part of the screw anyway. And probably every time I have to replace the sign. Well, no, actually, I would never have to replace this. So it doesn't really matter. Well, the wood I would have to, but if I gotta put new wood on, I'll probably have to put new screws on too because. You know, what's funny is that these screws were for my sister. She was going to, when she lived here, she was going to make some homemade, uh, you know, like chairs. Um, and a, like a pot or, you know, like a table. She was going to make that all out of pallets. Because she had seen something online about that. And she thought, well, if you do that and then paint them, it would look really cool. But she wanted to know what it all took to do that. I was like, well, we probably need some good screws. And then the pallets, well, she could get the pallets from work. And then, yeah, paint. Pallets, paint, and screws. But, we never ended up doing it. Man, you cannot leave my freaking four wheeler alone. My cats just love to molest my four wheeler. Poor four wheeler. Just gets so abused. And not just by me, it gets abused by the damn animals. But. I'm just gonna do four. I think four will be. will be plenty enough. And then the sign, obviously, I'm going to... The sign you can put on anyway. Um, small nails, staples. My grandma's got some staples, but I didn't bother to grab them. I'm just going to use these screws for now. So it's not really too much of an issue. Um, screws are a little overkill for a sign, but... I don't have anything smaller. Probably would if I went and looked in the house, but I'm too lazy to do that. I just gotta work with what, with what I have. Okay. Make sure these things are nice and snug. Okay. 
So, of course, they went in kind of, kind of crooked, but whatever. So, I'm gonna put this in the vise. I'm gonna try to actually cut those bolts or those screws with those, with this. I'm gonna put on some safety glasses. You know, these are not technically safety glasses. I never use these. This is all learning experience for me. Still not gonna get it low enough though. Yeah. Look, yeah, still not gonna get it very good, but Jeez, these things go shooting. Incredible. That shot way over to the forward. Do not want to be. These things don't fuck around. I love these things. It's a good thing I bought those, eh? Ah, still not perfect. You'd get it better with a damn angle grinder. Which is probably not, no. That's all good, well, as good as it did. I mean, I could have backed them out and cut them shorter and then put them back in, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I mean, it might be okay. But yeah, see, the wind's gonna get, get behind that. Shit. <clears throat> huh. That's a can of garbage. I guess it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So now, probably the three inch tool wouldn't even be able to reach them either. So I don't know guys, I'm going to go maybe go see if I can get my uh, angle grinder out and uh, put the flat disc on it, the cutting disc, and maybe try to, or even a eh, regular grinding wheel could do it fine too, just grind the shit out of this. So let me go do that guys, and I'll get back to you I guess. Alrighty guys, so I cut them. I uh, kind of wrecked the wood a tiny bit, but it ain't too. Not a very big deal. I think I can deal with it. So, of course, safety glasses for grinding work. Cats come in. So, yeah. So, I mean, the wood's a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but whatever. So yeah, I just cut them back. I just I was able to use just a regular grinding disc. I didn't feel like, uh, you know, having to swap it over to the cutting disc. I got one, I got this cutting disc here that's used, and then I got one new one yet. So, probably have to pick up a couple more in a couple of months. So that's it basically right there. Um, shit, I wonder if I didn't. Uh, no, I don't think we have any staples either. So, fortunately, didn't think about uh, how to. Well, I figured I'd probably just use screws again, but I think we're going to have to end up cutting the screws too. Might have some shorter ones maybe at the house. I really only need about maybe four or five or six maybe at the max. So these are just so so damn long you'd have to cut them again. You know this doesn't really matter if they poke out on this side. I suppose it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But whatever. So yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna pretty much well center that up, and then just screw them in. I guess that's basically all I have to do to uh, 
Because I still need that screwdriver. Just to screw them on, I guess. I don't even have to screw them on all the way, but the thing is just that I kind of want to somewhat of a tight fit, too. So. Had any shorter ones, which kind of sucks. Should probably take one of these in and be like, oh, I want you know, like an inch shorter ones or something stupid like that. Did I, mark? I did mark the wood, that's good. This is what I can do then. Make sure you just start it. And then without the sign being in the way. My grandma does have some small staples, but I didn't grab them, I forgot about them. Um, but I don't really care. I don't think we really need them. Okay. So, yeah. I think we can make do with what we have. This the one thing I hate about these signs though is that they're just not they're not they don't like the wind, you know. They get pretty abused and then you're forced to Replace them every year or so many years. I think so far we've only we've been doing it at least once a freaking year. You know, because it's just the way it is. Yeah. And I'm sure it's poking through. Now I probably could have doubled up on the boards, but the thing is why? One's good enough. Another thing I could have done was drilled out the holes, you know, here, like four or five, and I could use bolts, and I could just, the bolts would last forever, and just keep on bolting the signs all the time, but I don't think that's necessary. I think it'll work just fine this way. You could use nails too. I mean, just basically use whatever you got in the shop to work with. And this is unfortunately all I have to work with. So it'll go a hell of a lot quicker if I had the drill out. I kind of wish my drill would just magically appear here, you know? Like when I say, to, to say its name. It would just magically appear, but unfortunately, no. Or if I had some fairy god, fairy godparents, that'd be freaking awesome. Jesus Christ, things would be handy as fuck to have around here right now. I'll come up with something better besides these screws later on. I'm just, just That went in crooked, but whatever. Yeah, they're going to stick out quite a bit, but whatever. I don't really care. So. But if I come up with something better, at least then I'll know <clears throat> to use them. And we are in for a... Uh, Apparently from what my grandma says, anyway, we're in for a wind advisory, which I didn't know about. Problem being is that somebody was up fucking burning over there in the fields to the east of me. Which is a big no-no when you have windy days like that, but fucking retards, they still don't learn nothing. If you were to catch somebody's house on fire, you'd be, pay you'd be paying for it. you made the stupid choice of burning on a damn windy day. Screws, long screws are definitely not ideal for hanging signs up, but see the wind's going to be able to get behind that and rip it right off. So we'll see how long this will last. I'm going to have to come up with something better, I guess. But at least the holes will be here for Future use, I guess. Okay. 
Okay. And one more down here in this corner. I was going to put six in. One here and one down here. Uh, I don't know. Should be okay, I think. Ah, oh, Christ, I screwed it through the damn... through the frickin' bench. How the hell did I do that? Well, that's stupid. I wonder why this is a pain in the ass to go in. Oh, it's always something, boys. See, I'm, it's harder. I'm, I'm making it harder than it really needs to be. Clearly. But I don't have the proper tools to do this correctly. I could have went to my grandma's and went and got the stables again, but... Fucking stables. See, even the stables are, are a pain in the ass to put in. Because you have to uh, pound them in. And then if you want to take it out, you have to somehow pull them out. So, and I know I have not done the fence job yet, putting this new, the new fencing in, only because uh, the caps are still in the barn, and they're uh, I think I might need some more tools yet to do that job correctly. So it might be another month yet, I don't know. Right, we'll see how it goes. So. Okay. I guess we'll be okay with just four. These signs don't last forever anyway. So I'll show you show you here what it looks like now. So that's what that's gonna look like. Um, see this is where wind can kind of get in, so you're supposed to be putting something there too. But this was a little bit harder to screw into. So basically then what I'll do is I'll put my name here and then either some choice words or I guess that you can date it. Um so, but yeah, usually I, had, I mean, the one that I put on the sign, or on the gate, I painted it, painted it white. Well, that was because I had paint, so I didn't paint the back side, just the front side, so it would look, look nice and it would show up, but um, if I have to do this over again, I will definitely spray paint it and do a better job with the, with the sign. At least, at least you can back the screws out if you had to. Next time I'm going to be having uh, my D-wall here to make it quicker. Like I said, I really would like one there, but, but whatever. So that's what I'll do. I'll just put my name on it and either date it or put some choice words there. Whatever. Um, I doubt I'll be getting any video of me pounding the the T post in. You guys know how it works. T post T post pounders over there. The post and then the sign. Let's see. So yeah. That's how that works I guess. So that's like this uh, well maybe I'll take some pictures or something and show you how it works or how it looks out in the field or something so yeah, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much all it. That's all it's going to require, pretty much, I guess. And uh, I'm just going to leave those screws sticking out. Fuck it. If someone touches them, they'll learn not to touch it then. But uh, that's how it's going to look. It would it would look a lot nicer if the, if the wood was painted white, or you know something noticeable like white, red. Maybe maybe orange, but I like white better, especially for signage. But whatever. So there you go. That's what she's gonna look like, and then that T post will be going in the ground. I'm hoping to get this installed today. There's still plenty of sunlight yet. It looks like it looks like the wind finally calmed down. It's supposed to calm down for about two to three hours. Two to three hours, and then 
at 11 o'clock it's supposed to start raining tonight tonight it's supposed to start actually raining and the wind's supposed to start picking back up after that or during that so yeah so that this fuck you that's the gun the nozzle that has to go on the hose that's semi okay i got the other ones up there but they're broken so i need to throw them away but i got the metal one because i have a little bit better luck with these metal ones but i had to squirt some wd-40 in there to loosen it up from sitting um, i like these metal ones better uh i have this one but i don't believe it worked or if it does it leaks and then this one was had a big like a big uh piece of pipe sticking out of it, it was like a long well, actually it was what end was it this end it was supposed to stick out of like a big long you know pipe with this with this head on it and it broke off uh, i liked it too like you could still use this if you really wanted to but you're not going to get you know adjustable different settings for your spray it's good for me to washing a machine or something but this one kind of leaks too because i've had it for a couple years now but i think i think it's these stupid this brand though what brand is that Nelson, I think it says. Yeah. And that's kind of a cheap brand. I, I think that's all I've ever bought in was those. And they've always kind of just... I don't know what brand this even is. It doesn't even fucking say. Or it's, you can definitely tell it's older. But they're, they're junk. And I think this one, yeah. Yeah, see? This, this one's a Nelson, too. Fucking... What the fuck was that? That sounded like it. That was a screw. Or a nail. <clears throat> oh, well that wouldn't be in there. I guess it must have just been up there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, pretty close to what would fit. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what you need. Something more like that size. It'll still stick out. But not as bad. Something like that. I don't have a good. I don't have a place for fucking nails. Only bolts. So I guess we'll just get get creative and stick it there. So that's pretty much all it. I'm just going to going to uh, put my name on here and whatever else if I decide to. And then I'll show you what it looks like after we're done. I'll take some pictures. It won't be any video or anything, or it might be video. I don't know. We'll see. But all right, guys. I guess that's pretty much all it then. Um, I'll show video, another video or picture at the end of it being installed or whatever. So, yeah. Alright, guys. I'm going to take off. So, I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff. stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.